viewers let's learn about some kafka coding today uh, if you have not watched our previous video about the introduction of kafka please go and watch um, our video that we have created few days back this video will uh, talks about so many topics kafka public subscribe messaging model what is kafka what is broker what is topic what is kafka architecture Kafka cluster. It talks about Zookeeper, batch and partitions in Kafka, massive offset, consumer group. So this video will give you a good introduction and uh, about all everything that is related to Kafka. Okay. Now, as we know, Kafka is a public subscriber messaging model. It is originated in LinkedIn, and Kafka is written in Scala and Java. Apache Kafka is a public subscriber based fault tolerant messaging system. It is fast, scalable, and distributed by design. Okay. Now, we'll do hands on coding. We'll not go through the theory today. So, to start with Kafka, you need to download Kafka on your machine. Uh, here, I will explain about how to do it on Windows. Okay. So, go to this URL, Kafka dot apache dot org slash downloads in this you will find what is the latest version latest version is 2.6 and you can also find the older version if you want i will i will go through the latest version that is 2.6 once you click on it you will reach here and you can download from any of the mirrors so for the sake of tutorial I have already downloaded 2.12.2.6.0. Okay, so I have already downloaded the latest version. Okay, uh, for a quick start, if you go to kafka.apache.org slash quick start, this will explain you how to set up the server quickly. There is a good useful video as well. So go through this tutorial to do some hands-on and this explains basically from the command line uh, we'll see the java part how to do it in spring okay now to start anything in spring uh, we'll go to start.spring.io and we will add the dependency of web and spring uh, apache kafka okay so to save time i have already generated the two projects that i have here kafka poc and another one is, is spring boot kafka okay now uh, what we have in the pom file uh, here i'm using java 11 uh, java 8 is also fine for the tutorial as we know just as spring a spring boot starter and then the another dependency is a spring kafka okay and this is the consumer that i have written consumer uh, which is listening on one of the topic okay i have created this just to save time and we have created another project spring boot kafka application and here i had created a REST API controller that has two methods publish subscribe message topic one and publish message to topic two okay so i'll send message to two topics now there is a producer that will send message and i had created two topic topic one topic two and so i had auto wired a kafka template now two uh, topics that i had created i had initialized it from here Okay, this I had initialized it from here. Now there is two messages. This is just a simple message send message to topic one, send message to topic two. Okay, in Kafka, as we know, we send a message to topic. Okay, not to the uh, it's not one to one, uh, it's public subscriber. So we send to topic and consumer listens on top topic. So these are the two topics that we have created topic. Test topic, test topic two. 
and created one consumer which listens on test topic and there is another consumer which listens on test topic 2 okay now suppose there are two uh, separate microservices so this kafka poc is a separate microservice which is running separately and this is another microservice that is running okay now i have already started the server and uh, producer uh, will send the message using kafka template and consumer will receive the message on given topic okay so this rest there is a rest controller once i'll hit this url at that time producer will send message so i just auto wired this producer here in the rest controller producer will send message to topic 1 and using the kafka template this using on this topic this message will be sent and whoever is the consumer will listen who is listening on the same topic can get this message okay so to test it uh, let's test it on using postman so first of all i am calling public message topic one and i will change the message topic one topic one message now i'll hit it so public one this rest api uh, gets called it is a training 200 internally what will happen topic one gets uh, this rest api gets called and you can see topic one masses gets printed which we have sent it from here the same masses is getting printed here how it gets printed this rest endpoints when gets uh, when gets called this calls the producer dot send message topic one and this will this sends through kafka template on a given topic and the same is being listened by kafka consumer and consumer is printing it similarly if we'll call another this topic let me call this topic with uh, topic uh, two masses this is again written 200 on this time i called uh, topic two uh, another rest endpoint which sends to topic two now in this case this method, method will be called and it is sending message to topic two now topic two is not listened in this microservice there is another microservice that i am running here and which is listening to this topic so uh, this comes at kafka uh, comes under event driven architecture multiple microservices can consume the same uh, the message from kafka so this will get called and it will print so here we can see topic two masses gets printed on different microservices so masses produced by one uh, producer can be consumed by multiple separate consumers and each separate consumers can be on separate microservices on different machines so this is the beauty of kafka now uh, in the background as i told you i had downloaded already kafka so this is the kafka and this is the kafka folder uh, here the important file uh, folders are bin inside bin there is a windows and in the windows there is zookeeper server that i had started and uh, i had also started kafka server okay and along with that now the another important folder is config so zookeeper.properties and server.properties these are the two important files that uh, we need to make small change in zookeeper.properties you can see i have changed the data directory from temp to it is sending to this and in server properties again this log directory i had changed okay and here uh, you can see this is the log file where you all the logs gets recorded okay 
now uh, how to run it so this is the zookeeper that i had executed and how to run the zookeeper this is the command to run the zookeeper zookeeper server start dot bat and you just need to pass the configuration uh, configuration file okay similarly to run the kafka we need to uh, let me show you how to run the kafka kafka server started bat and you need to pass the server properties file or the configuration file on which it will run okay once you hit on it uh, so i had uh, run on zookeeper on separate uh, command terminal and i had executed uh, kafka on separate command terminal so both these are running by default uh, zookeeper uh, runs on 2181 port and kafka runs on see zookeeper is running on 2181 okay and kafka runs on 9092 and in the spring boot application you can see i am connecting to 9092 the kafka okay so that's how so important things that you need to remember whenever you will uh, whenever you want to integrate kafka you need to have dependency spring uh, for apache kafka once you will add it uh, in the pom.xml you will you will get the you need to add the dependency of kafka once you will add the dependency at that time uh, these annotations will be enabled for you you can use these annotations producer always sends masses on given topic okay producer sends masses on topic okay and both zookeeper and uh, kafka needs to run in the background that you need to remember so here today we have seen once any rest api gets called it sends masses from kafka producer and consumer of kafka consumes it so that's all for today viewers thank you for watching and do like and subscribe the videos and if you have not watched our previous videos uh, go and like and watch the videos that we have created and uh, if you want to understand more on kafka uh, please go and watch these videos and uh, this video learn kafka so this will give you total theory what kafka is what all things you need to learn in kafka Thank you guys.